So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop my egg on and I'm going to go in with my concealer. Okay? So if I feel like there's a few spots that I want to cover, I'm just going to take my foundation brush and I'm just going to mix a little bit and I'm just going to go into the spots. Okay? So that I get a really beautiful even complexion without it looking like you're wearing too much concealer and your skin is not caking. So wherever you have spots, if you have a slight under eye, after you've done foundation, you can just very, very lightly tap that underneath. And I've got my sponge is wet. Never use a dry sponge on your skin. It is harmful because you're dragging it and you're literally torturing your skin with it. So like you can see, I'm not dragging my sponge when I'm blending it in. I am just dabbing it and patting it into the skin. So I'm just very, very gently. If you can see, how, is, how does it feel like I'm poking you? So I'm just very, very gently dabbing it away and I'm taking away the corners of all the spots that I have created. You can again go in with more if that's what you want to do. Very important to use good quality sponges when you're doing makeup. So of course we have Sephora that is open in, in India which is great. So you get uh, beauty blenders over there. But I like my tried and tested by BP Cosmetics. It's uh, an Indian brand and she's made some beautiful sponges that are available in uh, online and in stores. You even get it at Nykaa. And whatever is left on your sponge, if you don't have a dark eyelid, what I land up doing is I just take whatever little concealer is left on my sponge and I apply it on the eyelid. Like that. So you can see the coverage that this gives. It still has a beautiful dewy effect on the skin. And what I will do now is that I'm going to contour with airbrushing and show you. So how do you contour? A lot of people ask, do you use foundation, do you use powder? Now it just depends on what kind of contouring you want to do, okay? If you are someone who wants to look really chiseled, really like hardcore with, uh, uh, you know, your, with, your, with your cheekbones, I would use a foundation because it's got the most, it's very effective because you're actually creating the highlights and hollows on your skin with two different shades of colors on your skin. And whereas a powder bronzer is always much more subtle, you know, especially if you have a slightly more heart-shaped face or round face or square face. So it's very important to know what your face is. Is it round? Is it oval? Is it square? Is it hard? What is it?